The San Francisco 49ers just made a huge move by hiring Steve Wilkes as their defensive coordinator. And this guy may actually improve the San Francisco 49ers defense, even though D'Amico Ryans and Robert Sala did an amazing job. In this video, I'm going to go over Steve Wilkes' background, how he may improve the San Francisco 49ers, how he fits in with the San Francisco 49ers, and what to look forward to with Steve Wilkes replacing D'Amico Ryans as the defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers. Steve Wilkes was born on August 8, 1969, and is currently 53 years old. And this is way different than what Kyle Shanahan has done in the past. Previously, he hired relatively inexperienced coaches, but Steve Wilkes is anything but inexperienced. But we're going to go over a little bit background first of his playing career, and then we'll jump into his coaching career. Steve Wilkes played college football at Appalachian State, playing defensive back from 1987 to 1991. And Wilkes even tried to make it in the Arena Football League with the Charlotte Rage. He also played wide receiver, defensive back, and kick returner with Charlotte Rage. Steve Wilkes began his coaching career not too long after this, becoming the defensive coordinator for John C. Smith, which was a university, before becoming the defensive coordinator for Savannah State. And then that eventually led to him becoming the head coach. He also was a defensive backs coach for Illinois State, Appalachian State, East Tennessee, Bowling Green, Notre Dame. Wilkes rounded out his coaching journey in college with a stop at Washington as a secondary coach. He made his way to the NFL as the Chicago Bears defensive backs coach. Eventually moved to the Chargers and once again to the Panthers. And on the Panthers, in 2015, he was promoted to assistant head coach. And 2017 led to him being an assistant head coach and defensive coordinator. And then in 2018, he was the Arizona Cardinals head coach. 2019, Browns defensive coordinator. Went to the Missouri as their defensive coordinator. And then came back to the Carolina Panthers in 2022. And then in 2022, he was also the interim head coach of the Panthers before coming over to the San Francisco 49ers. And on the San Francisco 49ers, he really hopes to pick up where D'Amico Ryans left off. But we need to understand what type of coach Wilkes actually is and kind of highlight some important factors, especially for the San Francisco 49ers defense. So to look at Steve Wilkes and his coaching style and his play style, his defensive style, I thought we should look at what Steve Wilkes says his defensive style is. And there's a report that came out when he was first signed to the Browns in his introductory press conference, and he, he kind of went over this. So this is what he said. We are a 4-3 base. We are very multiple in what we're doing. I think you have to be in this day and age with all the other different things you're seeing it can change every week to week. I'm aggressive by nature, but it's all about trying to put our guys in the best position to be successful. It could change. Quarterback is getting the ball out quick, therefore now you have to be more creative in your coverages and things that you're doing on the back end because you're not going to get there. It's all about trying to create negative plays on your first and second down so you can get exotic in some of your third down pressures and things you want to do. I want to point out how this fits the San Francisco 49ers so well, because it does. I mean, they already can generate a lot of negative plays on first and second down. And if Steve Wilkes is able to draw up some exotic things like he's talking about in this Browns interview, and I'm assuming he continues to do that because he is actually a great defensive coordinator. I think it's going to really help the defense get home maybe a little bit more on third down by having some of those exotic plays. Because while D'Amico Ryans was a great coach, he kind of left out some exotic plays from time to time as highlighted by Pete Carroll. So this is where the 49ers defense could even be more deadly on those third down plays and really get home to the quarterback and really surprise other teams like they haven't in the past because it's a totally new guy coming in and this guy has so much experience. And I think that's a good thing. And something that's also different about Steve Wilkes from Miko Ryans is that he's a defensive back coach first. And D'Amico was a linebacker's coach first because they both played the position and that makes a ton of sense and you also saw that the 49ers linebackers were great when D'Amico Ryans was the defensive coach and also the linebackers coach. 
I wonder if Steve Wilkes can also help out the 49ers secondary because that is probably their weakest link right now. So it's actually a great hire that they hire a defensive coordinator with secondary in his mindset because you honestly have one of the best defensive line coaches in the league as well in Chris Kosarek. And there was a great report that came out that highlighted that Chris Kosterik is staying on the staff. So you have some really talented coaches on this staff. And just because he's a defensive backs coach, you're not going to believe this, but his defense loves to blitz because he's the top four in the NFL blitz rate in all three seasons in 2017, 2018, and 2019. And I wonder how he's going to use his defensive back and his blitzing combined because I think it'd be interesting because Talvanoa Hufunga has proven himself as a great blitzer. I'm sure that he's going to incorporate that, but maybe he's going to get our new slot cornerback involved um seeing fred warner on some blitzes and just seeing how exotic steve wilkes can get is going to be interesting and to see how his experience affects his game calls and just how he is as a coach will we'll be totally fresh for the san francisco 49ers because they have had those new coaches like i've said another great part about steve wilkes hire is that the san francisco 49ers didn't want to change their defense and i don't think they will at all with him coming in and he's also a great zone coordinator and the san francisco ford niners are probably one of the best zone teams in the league especially because you have great guys in the middle like fred warner covering it i mean aziz al shair is even great drake greenlaw and hopefully the san francisco ford niners can bring back emmanuel mosley on like a one-year prove it deal that would be amazing for their secondary hopefully he's not doesn't leave I would like to see maybe a competition in the slot between Lenore and Womack. That would be interesting. On the, on the outside, you could have Ward and Mosley going this season and maybe draft a guy. That would be something the San Francisco 49ers should look into because you constantly want to make sure your secondary is getting bolstered. But we also need to get a defensive end that would really pressure the quarterback. I hope it's Drake Jackson, but maybe it's time to consider drafting another guy just to make sure. But I'm sure Steve Wilkes has answers to ton of these questions, including who the San Francisco 49ers are going to have starting opposite of Hofunga next year. It'd be really interesting to see if they decide to bring back Gibson, because I think they might have priced themselves out of their range. Or maybe even Ward. I wouldn't mind seeing Ward come back and play his original position. I think he's a better safety than he is a nickel, but he was playing good for a nickel back. Not even a safety playing nickelback, just a good nickelback. And we need to talk about what just happened with D'Amico Ryan's leaving and what's happened with all the San Francisco 49ers coaches and staff leaving. They're constantly getting these third round comp picks back because of the NFRL rules that if a minority coach or a minority staff member leaves to go get another job that's higher paying, like happened in Rand Carthon's case, the team receives draft picks back so for mike mcdaniel they got two thirds it's going to be something similar for D'Amico, and that that's great for the san francisco 49ers because it just continues to bolster their capital and they're great at drafting and if steve wilkes left in the future to get a head coach opportunity again which hopefully he does because that means he did great on the san francisco 49ers that means the san francisco 49ers get even more picks so kyle shanahan can pick up another one of those running backs baby but all jokes aside, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video. It helps out a ton. I appreciate all your guys' support.